In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 7, verses 24b to verse 30. And he entered a house, and wanted no one to know it, but he could not be hidden. For a woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, Syrophoenician by birth, and she kept asking him to cast the demon out of her daughter. But Jesus said to her, Let the, little, let the children be filled first, for it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dog. And she answered and said to him, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs under the table eat from their children's crumbs. Then he said to her, For this saying, go your way. The demon has gone out of your daughter. And when she had come to her house, she found the demon gone out and her daughter lying on the bed. In this scripture reading today, there's a little subheading. A Gentile shows her faith. For some it may be a little bit puzzling when they were talking about children and dogs and eating crumbs under the table. But this woman was not an Israelite, not a Jew. She was Greek. In other words, she was a Gentile, not of the Jewish faith. Jesus came to save us all, but in particular to bring back the Jews, bring them back to God. He was the Messiah the promised one. And so he was concentrating on them. But this woman, who was not of the faith, showed her faith to Jesus. And that's where she, the saying goes. And Jesus said to her, Let the children be filled first. For it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dogs. She answered and said to him, Yes, Lord, yet even the little dogs under the table eat from the children's crumbs. She was asking him just to eat the crumbs that have fallen off the table. Whatever is left over. She was happy to consume. Well, this showed so much faith to Jesus. For saying this, Jesus said, Go your way. The demon has gone out of your daughter. And we read that she returned to her house to find that the demon had gone out. She was just lying on her, on her bed. This scripture reading today shows how much faith this person had. We have many, many, many examples of people showing faith. We have the woman with the flow of blood. We have another Gentile, the Roman centurion, show his faith too. They believed in God. They believed in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As Jesus said, I have not seen such faith in all of Israel. This faith, ask yourself, 
Do you have it? Do you truly believe in Jesus, his teachings? Or are we so bound up in the world it has taken second place? Our faith, can we believe? Do we believe? Jesus Christ is our Saviour. And to show that we are true disciples, we must follow his commandment to love one another as he has loved us. He is the way, the truth and the life. We cannot go to the Father unless by him as followers of Christ, as his disciples. How much faith do we have? As much as this woman we just read about, this Gentile. Pray to the Holy Spirit that you will understand what Jesus is saying, what Jesus is teaching us all. We must have faith. We must have strong faith. We must practice our faith. To strengthen our faith through the practice of it. Think of an athlete who trains and trains before he goes into a competition to strengthen himself or herself even. Without practice, you do not achieve. It's interesting, I was watching the news the other day, and there's this tennis player, a bit of a notorious type of character. He always likes the good times. And it was said that he will never become great because of the amount of effort that he puts in. How much effort do you put into your faith? Will you be ever strong in your faith? If you don't train, can we be at least like this Gentile woman? or this Roman centurion, or the woman with the flow of blood. Can we ever have at least that much faith in Jesus? Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you, to strengthen you, to train you, to believe in the Word of God, to believe in Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.